We have just spent the past two days enjoying ourselves as guests at Comfort Suites for a little staycation, which is worth it once in a while. So I am going to share my experience with you at Comfort Suites and leave a few tips if you want to be able to enjoy a nice, relaxing staycation in paradise. So if you're interested, keep watching. Hello love, welcome back to my channel, The Christina Love. I am Christina Love, and on my channel I discuss motherhood, lifestyle, and hopefully soon, travel. It has been a long time. I hope everyone has been doing well in the midst of everything. Um, let me know in the comments how you are doing. Today's video is about a staycation that I had the privilege of enjoying thanks to Comfort Suites on Paradise Island and I am sharing with you my top tips for having the best staycation. So tip number one, plan but not too much. Never, never, never over plan. When I had the opportunity to take a staycation in Paradise, I aimed for a period in time when I would be able to enjoy it the most. I wouldn't have anything to do the weekend. I would be able to disconnect and unplug. We chose the holiday weekend in July, which was the Independence Holiday Weekend, and Brian and I checked in and we decided that we would just disconnect and have an awesome time to ourselves. It's so important ever since I became a parent to make time for what matters most. And even the things that I don't usually get to enjoy when I am on full-time mommy duty. So for me, two of those very important things are one, sleeping in, which I got to do. I got to enjoy a late morning with no um, toddler, preschooler alarm clocks going off. I didn't have to worry about making up the bed when I got up, obviously. And the second thing that I like to enjoy and make time for when I can is breakfast. Breakfast downstairs near the pool. Well, Brian and I were actually treated to breakfast in the wedding gazebo. I didn't take any photos of the breakfast that I ordered, but I had one of my favorites, which is scrambled eggs with yellow grits and cheese. Tip number two, budget. And I'm not saying this like in the typical way, like budget how much you're spending on your vacation, but budget how much you would spend on a staycation versus a vacation. Obviously, when you're on a staycation, you don't have to worry about a plane ticket, you don't have to worry about a rental car, your shopping budget may be different. But think about how much money you would save if you actually spent the money where you live. And think about how much of that money is going back into the local economy. When you spend in the local economy, everyone benefits. Tip number three, live in the moment. And think like a tourist or someone who is a visitor to your country. What would they do? What are some of the top things that they would check out if they were new in the country. For me and my family, what that meant was enjoying the amenities at Atlantis without having to pay full price to enjoy those. So one of the perks of staying at Comfort Suites on Paradise Island is that you get full access to the water park at Atlantis, which includes AquaVenture, it includes all the slides, the Lazy River, it also includes beach access. So that is like perfect. What, how else could you make a better combination? You're already there, you don't have to worry about um, where you're gonna park, you don't have to worry about getting passes for the water park, all of that is built into your accommodations and what you pay for when you stay at Comfort Suites. Bryce and Jordan, they loved it. They had the best day ever. 
Which way, Bryce? Right or left? Right. Right. Yes. Good job. Hey! Whoa! What's up, buddy? Dan Dan. Come on, baby. Thank goodness my children are water babies because I don't know what Brian and I would do if they did not like the pool or the beach or the sun because I mean that we love it. No matter where we are, we love it. Tip number four, indulge. Even though you haven't actually left the country, you are on a vacation, staycation, whatever you want to call it. So, enjoy what you have for me that meant that i got to enjoy late night snacks and an in-room amenity that we got when we checked in relaxation area and a cute amenity and cookies and a bottle of wine how do they know me and snacks those are going to come in handy we got um, a bottle of wine, some coconut water, some sodas. We also had a fruit plate, some cookies, chocolate cookies, I may add, and also some dried fruits and stuff like that. So it was just a really, really nice thing that we got to enjoy in our room, just to relax and unwind. And our room also had a really nice view. It overlooked the pool and the restaurant area. So it was just beautiful waking up and opening the curtains and seeing, you know, everything outside. Tip number five, stay up as late as you want. You are on vacation. This is actually part two of number four, which was indulge. Just enjoy yourself. Stay up as late as you want. One thing that Brian and I got to do when we were on our staycation was we were just a very short walk away from Atlantis. So we said, why don't we just walk over there, get something to eat, enjoy, you know, just walking around and feeling like we're on vacation for a little bit. The Comfort Suites has its own restaurant that I mentioned earlier. That's where we had breakfast on our first morning there. But if you wanted to try something else, everything is pretty much within walking distance. The beach is also in walking distance. So there was just so much to choose from, but it was nice to have options, to be able to do something different, especially when we've been stuck at home for so long. Comfort Suites, Paradise Island, and the team there. They were so gracious to us from check-in to check-out and everything in between. Everyone was super helpful. Whenever we had a question about what to do, where to go, how do we get our Atlantis water park band, everyone was very helpful. And it was a very busy weekend there, the Independence Holiday weekend. It seems like everyone had an idea like, hey, let's get up, let's go do a little staycation instead of hopping on an airplane. Overall, the experience was nice and relaxing. It felt like an escape without getting too far away. So that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my top tips for a staycation. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please let me know if you have recommendations for where I should go next for a staycation. Please also let me know, leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.
Good job, Brian.